What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here, we're checking Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing off probably the best, most epic, most insane sealed Pokemon product ever released. It's the Pokemon TCG Trainers Toolkit. This thing is so jam-packed with value and busted cards, I don't even know where to start. Let's just get right into it. The Trainers Toolkit claims to come with everything that you need to build a powerful deck. So let's see if the product holds up to its promise, crack it open and see just what is inside. First of all, it comes with a sleek box here. I really do like that. This is a nice storage box. It's uh, pretty comparable to a one row that you might see in a card store. It's got these flaps here that just kind of fold into itself. Nice storage solution for your Pokemon trading card game collection. And this box has got some nice artwork, I have to say. Comes with all of the energy symbols as well, even though we're phasing out Dragon and Fairy. They're still here on the Trainer's Toolkit box. So inside the kit, we have got a Poison and Burn marker. Love the artwork on those new Poison and Burn markers. Those look slick. And the dice. Now, these dice are some of my favorite dice I've ever seen from the Pokemon Company. And I've got a very good reason for that. If you take a look at these dice. They have got high numbers on them, which is great since now Pokemon have got over 300 HP. So a ton of hit points, which these damage markers will help you. Uh, nope, how much damage is on your Pokemon? We got 150, 170, you know, big old numbers on the dice now. Turns out the old D6s don't quite cut it anymore for Pokemon VMAX. But we do have a brilliant D6 here. This is probably my favorite die that I have ever received from the Pokemon Company International. And the reason being is that there's actually a one on it. So no symbol on this translucent glitter die. And it is glittery. It's got some rainbow glitter in it. And there is no symbol. So there's never ever any confusion as to whether or not you've rolled a one or a six it uh, has no symbol on it, and I really love that. This is probably my favorite die ever released by the Pokemon Company, so big kudos to the Pokemon Company for giving us a nice dice set here with an awesome rainbow die. I mean, I love this thing. I think this thing's amazing, and I will definitely be using that as my D6 when I play in tabletop, when I play on the tabletop. We've got a Pokemon trading card game rule booklet, in case you want to learn how to play the game. Comes with all of the rules there, and a trainer's toolkit deck builder's guide. So this is really cool. It's just a guide to building powerful decks, the different kinds of cards that you might want to include in it. I really like that inclusion with the trainer's toolkit. And we got four packs. Pack of Unbroken Bonds, Pack of Sword and Shield, and two packs of Rebel Clash. We also have some sleeves, and these sleeves are a new formula that we have not seen before from the Pokemon Company, so I'm going to be giving those a shuffle test. We also have a code to unlock all of this on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, so if you're watching on YouTube here and you're lucky, might be able to grab that code and get these cards unlocked on your account. A ton of value here, considering that you get all this stuff with this one code. So absolutely brilliant there. And of course, we've got Chonky Dedenne. There's actually two Chonky Dedennes in here, as well as a bunch of other playable cards. Dedenne GX is just one of the best cards in the Pokemon trading card game right now. One of the most powerful consistency cards ever printed in the history of the Pokemon trading card game. And it's a very valuable card from Unbroken Bonds. And sure enough, this trainer's toolkit has got two of them inside, which is amazing. And the Dedenne GX comes with its own exclusive artwork that you cannot obtain outside of this trainer's toolkit. So that's just amazing. Check that out. Beautiful, chonky Dedenne with the chunky cheeks, big fat cheek to Dene GX. I love it. The artwork's amazing. The colors are great. Uh, I mean, it used to be that the promo artworks were a lot of times, you know, not as strong as the set artwork. I mean, this just kind of flies in the face of that. This is an amazing artwork here on this promo to Dene GX. And of course, we've got the pair to Dene GX in the trainer's toolkit we're going to take a look at the other cards included real quick we have got two copies of mallow and lana i believe that all of these cards come in two of so we've got 
new exclusive artwork for these item cards as well. Poke Gear comes with a new exclusive artwork. We have got, uh, I think, Reset Stamp, yes, comes with its own exclusive artwork as well, which is really sick. New artworks for the super playable cards. And every single card in this kit is a playable card. They're all amazing. I mean, it's really just, uh, the, there's so much value in here. I cannot express enough. These are all staple cards. There are no duds. There's no misses. I mean, Air Balloon, Turf Field Stadium, Vitality Band, it's all great stuff. And it all comes in pairs, which I think is really important because when you're building a deck, when you're building a competitive deck, you want to build your deck with consistency in mind, which means that you're going to want to put more than one of a card in the deck. And I think that this is just such a nice product for not only new players, but also veteran players, players who have just been playing the game for a long time to help players build their collections and obtain these playable cards. But I do think that it's a fantastic product for new players to get into the game. And it just makes the game so much more accessible uh, giving a starter kit like this that, uh, or providing a starter kit like this that players can just pick up and then all of a sudden they've got a lot of staples that are going to be in your top tier decks. So it's a very valuable product indeed, which comes with just an absurd amount of playable cards. We've got Giant Hearth as well, a lot of fire stuff, welders in here, two copies of Switch, two Fire Crystal, two Ordinary Rods. I mean, they're not kidding when this when they say that this, uh, this kit comes with almost everything that you would need in order to build a powerful deck. I mean, I think that uh, it's, it's just very clear that this product holds up to its promise, getting players started uh, with some very powerful cards. And then also providing, like I said, that option for players who are already in the game and been playing for a long time to just boost their collections. So uh, I absolutely love what the Pokemon Company has done here and big kudos to them for designing a, an amazing product for new and veteran players alike. We've got two Speed Lightning Energy, two Aurora Energy, two Twin Energy as the special energy offerings in the kit as far as the items go. Two Evolution Incense, two Tool Scrappers, two Ordinary Rods, new Pokemon Communication art as well. That's brand new exclusive to this Trainer Toolkit, which I think is super rad. Two Vitality Bands, two Energy Spinners, two Reset Stamps, Metal Saucers, which go perfectly with that new Zacian V released in the Sword and Shield set. Two Switch, two Fire Crystals, two Air Balloons, two Quick Balls, probably the most powerful search card in the game right now in standard format. Two Poke Gears, two Greens Explorations, two Welders, two Mallow and Lana, Boss's Orders. I mean, Boss's Orders, that's an insane value as well. These are hollow rare supporters. Marnie is a hollow rare supporter in Sword and Shield. Boss's Orders is a hollow rare supporter in Rebel Clash. Professor's Research is a hollow rare supporter in Sword and Shield. These hollow rare supporters are not easy to pull a lot of times you only find one hollow rare supporter in every other box so about one in every two booster boxes that's uh you know one in every 72 packs right 36 packs to a booster box times two about one in 72 packs would yield a holographic marnie or would yield a holographic boss's orders but we just have two boss's orders in this kit you'd have to open potentially four booster boxes of rebel clash in order to find two boss's orders but instead we just have two in this kit so i cannot express enough how much value there is in this kit and getting those reprints of those holographic rare supporters is just insanely valuable we also have two copies of malo milana two giant hearth two rare candies two turf field stadiums and of course to top it all off i mean the kit would be broken without the dedene gx's there could just be one dedene gx and it would still be a relatively broken kit but the two dedene gx just the icing on top i mean that is an incredible kit for both new and veteran players i cannot say enough how much I love that they decided to put this product together. Now, this block right here is uh, just basic energy. So we're gonna have all the basic energy that you would need in order to build a deck. It comes with uh, every type, including fairy, even though they are phasing fairy energy out of the Pokemon trading card game, no longer printing fairy types in the sword and shield expansions. Fairy type have been re 
uh, I guess, rebranded into psychic types, but we do have fairy energy in here as well. Just plenty of energy with the new sword and shield artwork there. They kind of all have that little flare going off of the energy symbol. That just looks amazing. So I have to say the energy is a nice addition. If you don't have a large Pokemon trading card game collection, you're going to need to get your energy somewhere, and that's a great place to get it. Then we've also got our four packs. So let's go ahead and crack these packs to see what we get in our four packs. And again, they didn't even have to include these four packs. I mean, the kit's broken without the packs, but you know, with the two to Den AGXs, the two bosses orders, and we get four packs. And sure enough, we've got a hit right off of that first pack. Dub Wool V with the, uh, what, the Soft Wool ability decreases damage dealt to it by 30 and the cool Revenge Blast attack. Gotta love that. And then here is a code for anybody watching. If you're quick, you can get your hands on those PTCGO codes. We've also got a Horror Psychic Energy, very playable card there. Excellent hit off our other Rebel Clash pack. Let's see what we've got here. And it looks like we've got Sigilyph, Carcol. Carcol is one of my favorite Pokemon from the Sword and Shield expansion. Another Horror Psychic Energy and a Rebel Clash code. Sword and Shield up next. Let's see if we get a Zacian V. Golden Zacian V. No, but Inteleon is pretty good. I have to say the Shady Dealings ability, very strong ability on that Inteleon. We've also got Gengar there, which is pretty sick. Ordinary Rod, so now we've got three Ordinary Rods in our kit, as well as a Bead and a PTCGO code. And then in our final pack, Unbroken Bonds, I'm feeling Rainbow Rare, Reshiram, and Charizard. Can you smell it? I can smell it. I think it's... Rainbow Rare Rush adds Greninja. It's all good. <laughs> we got a Greninja and a Fairy Energy there, as well as War Turtle Greens Exploration. Now it's three Greens Exploration in the kit and a PTCGO code. So that is just an incredible start to any player's collection. You could really pick up this kit and you're well on your way to building some very powerful Pokemon trading card game decks. Now, the last thing I wanna do in this video is talk about the sleeves. These sleeves are excellent. Uh, the Pokemon Company has done a great job listening to players, and I think that these are the highest quality sleeves I have ever seen from the Pokemon Company. This batch in particular looks really strong. I've noticed uh, with some of the trainer toolkit sleeves, I've noticed some whitening on the edges of the sleeves themselves, just like kind of a printing error, which could leave them marked. But these sleeves have no whitening on any of the edges. So these look absolutely perfect. And they've got a really nice matte feel to them, which is awesome. They're just like these non-glare matte sleeves and the old Elite Trainer Box sleeves, you know, with the corners that are really sharp and they don't mash together at all. These sleeves are completely different. I'm gonna sleeve up some energy and show you how they shuffle. Now that I've sleeved up some basic energy, we can take a look and see just how these new trainer toolkit sleeves shuffle. First of all, you can tell just by looking at them, they are very nice non-glare matte sleeves and they don't have any reflection on them here. You see they look perfect on the tabletop, just offering that wonderful, clean, dry, matte look. So as far as appearances go, they look magnificent. So I have to say that definitely gets a two thumbs up from me. As far as the shuffling goes, I'm gonna test two things. First of all, I wanna see, do these sleeves riffle well? Since I am a competitive player, riffling would be my primary mode of shuffling. And just right off the bat, they riffle perfectly. They feel absolutely wonderful in the hand. They riffle mighty fine and they are not too slippery. A lot of times with sleeves, when you first sleeve up a deck, they'll glide all over the place. Not with this set of sleeves. They just happen to have this kind of perfect consistency. They 
are very dry feeling. They feel very matte, which is a wonderful feel for sleeves to have. They also mash perfectly. And this is not something that you could do with the old Elite Trainer Box sleeves. They just would splinter at the corners when you tried to mash shuffle them. These sleeves just absolutely effortlessly mash shuffle. So they shuffle extremely well, both mash shuffling and riffle shuffling, which is just an absolute treat. These sleeves that come with the toolkit are playable sleeves. Like I could actually play with these in a tournament and I wouldn't even feel bad about it. And like I said, the factory error that I've seen, kind of the whitening on some of the edges for some of the sleeves, completely absent in this particular batch of sleeves here. This patch of sleeves is absolutely perfect. The backs are flawless. There is no marking on any of them. So uh, that is the only thing I would say after opening a few of these kits, I would say look out for the backs of your sleeves. If you're going to a tournament or something like that, just make sure that they are not marked, but otherwise the sleeves shuffle perfectly. They feel great. They look phenomenal. I mean, the design on them is just amazing. They've got this nice little, you know, kind of 80s retro, you know, rainbow vibe to them. I think that that's just such a cool thing. They kind of remind me of like uh, disco or something like that. I think they're just an amazing product overall. And I think that the Pokemon company did a fantastic job designing the trainer toolkit. And that's it for my review of the Pokemon trading card game trainers toolkit. It's an absolutely incredible value. So big thanks to the Pokemon company for producing such an awesome product. If you're looking to pick one up yourself, we've got them available at fullgripgames.com. So make sure to check out the website. Supporting fullgripgames.com directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. If you're looking for just the code, you have an online collection and you want to get the cards from the trainers toolkit on your PTCGO account, make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com for instant PTCGO code delivery. We've got the trainer's toolkit codes as well as various other codes available on fullgripcodes.com. Now, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Y'all take it easy and have a great day. Peace.